What is up guys, it's Expo here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make pre-game lobbies in Fortnite Creative. Alright guys, so for today's tutorial, you're going to need a wall, a hover platform, a floor, and a spawn pad. I'm going to use a 45 degree angle also wall to get a little detail to it so it doesn't look all plain. Um, the only thing is you will not need a hover platform if you guys aren't going to build it underneath the map. Uh, in today's tutorial I'm going to be building it underneath the map. If you guys want to build it above that's fine. Uh, most of the time with pre-game lobbies you want to make sure it's away from the map hidden so you can't see it. So it looks cool. Um, and yeah let's get into it. Alright guys so the first part of putting it underground. You want to make sure you get your hover platform underneath, like just like that, underneath the map under here. And you want to grab your floor and just build a base however big you want, a box, circle, whatever you guys want to do. So for me, I'm just going to build a uh, like kind of box, kind of. Looks more like a rectangle, that's okay. Alright, so now I'm going to fill it in. And then you want to get your walls and build. So you pretty much build however you want. Uh, most of the time if you're doing it either underground or whatever um, You probably don't want to put uh, windows or whatever just to keep it all nice and Like uh, closed in so people can't see out or whatever so they think it's like an actual spawn I like to actually prefer these uh, now I'm gonna put my 45 degree angle in but um, I kind of like them better so you can have like while waiting for everybody to load into the game So they're pretty nice and useful All right so yeah all right so now what you want to do is you want to put your roof on uh, most of the time you want to put in a roof because that way no one can see out or in or whatever thing like windows so uh, we'll put that all right kind of face there all right so now you got your little base looking nice and then we're gonna put spawn pads so I'm it doesn't matter it's how many uh, players you want or whatever so for me I'm just gonna put like nine down just to show you guys for today's tutorial. So for the settings, you just want to put it on any. Priority group is none. Island start on. Invisible during games is up to you guys. So this is basically just the basics. So you don't have to do anything with this. So uh, usually this. And I will show you guys how to do the ones for after the pre-game spawn. Alright guys, so I built this little arena real quick. To show you guys how to do it for your team spawns. Um, I have team blue and team red just to show you guys how to do this for two multiple teams uh, This works on free-for-all or any amount of teams you want to do so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick So uh, like I said before just place it on your spawn pads um, I can show you I'll do this one too I'll show you guys how to do it for two teams All right good All right, so now what you want to do is you want to for team one uh, this is going to be for team one. You guys can do whatever order you want. Uh, for team one, I'm going to put it on team one. Uh, island start is off and visible during game is up to you guys. I'm going to leave it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so that's good. So now I'm going to go do the next team. So pretty much for any team or free for all. You just want to put it to the next team number and turn off island start for every single one. Alright guys, so once you do that, you just want to return to hub to test it. Then you want to go back into your world and you will spawn in your pre-game lobby box here, as can be seen. And then what you want to do is when you start the game, you will spawn in your team uh, box. So, here you go guys, as you can see here, I spawned in team one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you guys get the subscribe button, it'd appreciate it a lot because we're close to 100 subscribers. And um, if you guys can hit the like button, I'd appreciate that a lot too. Uh, make sure to share with your friends. And I also hope this tutorial was very helpful. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys like this one, I'm thinking about doing more creative tutorials like how to make a moving zone um how to make like spawn bases that are underneath the map that launch you into the actual map itself 
and lots more. So let me know in the comments down below. If this video does well, then I will do more. I'll do a creative series. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.